All right, number four here, and I'm going to warn you, if you're watching this video because you got stuck, that's okay because this one is a little bit different. We put our two equations on top of each other, and now let's go look for opposites. We have 4x and 4x. These are both positive, so no, they are not opposites. Then we have a positive 8y and a positive 6y. So currently, right now, we do not have opposites. So we need to make an opposite. And I'm going to make the opposite in pink, my favorite color. It doesn't matter which equation I choose. I think I'm going to do the bottom one. I'm going to put parentheses around everything. Because what I'm going to do, I have to do to everything to make sure that the equation doesn't change, meaning it, that it changes into a different line. So I'm actually going to take a negative 1 and times everything by it. We did this when we turned something into standard form. You've multiplied everything by negative 1 before. So now... I'm going to actually go and rewrite it in this pink color. So I'm actually going to just put a little squiggle sign. And I'm going to rewrite 4x plus 8y equals 20. Nothing changed there. But now I'm going to go and do this work here. So negative 1 times 4x will be minus 4x. Ding, ding, ding. There's my opposite. But i got to keep going. Negative 1 times 6y is going to be minus 6y equals negative 1 times 14 is going to be negative 14. This just makes all the signs change. So it goes from a positive to a negative, positive to a negative, positive to a negative, okay? Now, I'm going to actually switch back to our red color because we're ready to do our work. We're ready to add these two equations because we have our opposites now, okay? So it looks like 4x plus negative 4x eliminates. 8y plus a negative 6y is going to be 2y. 20 plus a negative 14 is going to be 6. When I divide both sides by 2, y equals 3. So I found my y variable. Now let's switch to blue so we can find our x. Again, it doesn't matter. You could use this equation, this equation, or your changed equation. I think I'm going to use the top one. So I have 4x plus 8 times 3 because that's my y. Then, oops, excuse me, equals 20. I have 4x. 8 times 3 is 24 equals 20. I'm going to minus 24 from both sides. I have 4x left there. Then I have minus 4. Divide both sides by 4. x by itself is negative 1. So our solution is at negative 1, 3. So the only new part here was when we had to multiply everything by that negative 1 to make the opposite. There are not very much problems like this, but I wanted to show you. Great work, guys.